mga tips ko on how to come up with ideas okay. for innovation. Well, let's start from the basic. You should have what we call the unique selling proposition, okay. USP. Yeah. And um, one important thing is to build your brand. Mm-hmm. Even people, tayo as an entrepreneur, we are a brand. The way you look, the way you present yourself, yeah. you are a brand. Second is your image. Image means how you present your company from the simple business card, mm-hmm. from the simple handshake, as I say. Yeah. It's because for me, it's your first um, contact with yeah. your client. Why do you need a handshake? Let's yeah. demonstrate. Let's <laughs> demonstrate. Let's demonstrate. Okay. <laughs> Right. The first thing is not too hard, not too mm-hmm. firm. Sa kayo yung isang min, yung parang <laughs> parang babaliin yung kamay mo. So it's the firm. And then mga three shakes lang like three that. Shakes. The most important skill is to look at the person in the eye. eye. I'm sure you've yes. you've had a handshake or you've had a handshake with someone na nakatingin sa paa. Oh, yes. Sa kayo yung yung kamay madami alam niya. Yeah, yeah. Pag pag kami yung malamig lang ni hindi niya abuse yung tao na yon. So pwede magisip-isip din tayo because body language is also important, yes. no? Oh, may utangan ka, tapos hindi ka nababayaran. <laughs> yung mga ganun pa mga style, di ba? Tapos hindi makatingin sa, oh, sa mata. Oo, no? oh, nakpaka. Utangan ka, tapos hindi ka rin babayaran. No? So, alam mo so, na pala. Alam mo na. So, yun yung first contact. Another thing yun, mas asked other than image, is yung pricing strategies natin. Price. Mm-hmm. So, hindi pwedeng sasabihin natin, ah, mas mababa ako sa competition. Mm-hmm. So, pricing is not the be-all and the end-all. Mm-hmm. Pricing should be studied. There's actually an art in, in science in pricing. So it depends on your product. It depends on the market you want to, to tap, and um, but the timing then, the timing then. And there's a science to that. Accountancy na yan. Kung yeah, okay. accounting yung ah, and cost pro, costing na tayo. Ibang ano na yan. Ibang isaga. Guess you na lang na is sa ibang ano. Sa ibang episodes na lang siya. And meron din siya pa yung tinatawag natin yung strategies, no? So meron tayo reputation, pati yung reputation natin, important, whether it's personal or professional, because people look at you as an entrepreneur na, on a holistic point of view, especially now when social media is yes. very, well, you know, it's relevant. So we have to be very careful of what we put out there. Yeah. Yeah. Grammar, yeah. your your choice of um, photos, and points, and fonts, yeah, and daming considerations. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the Leadpreneur Insights, where you learn the secrets of starting and growing your business the Filipino style. Because while it's good to learn from your own mistakes, it's better to learn from other people's mistakes and discover their blueprint to success. And now, your host, a certified Leadpreneur himself, Jerry Elow. on a very important client meeting. So today po, pag-uusapan natin marketing innovations with a very special guest. And um, I will be joined by one of our certified leadpreneurs, our very own Miss Donna Tambo. Hi, Miss Donna. Hi, Ella. Hello po. Good afternoon. Magandang hapon, mga leadpreneurs. Um, magandang gabi, magandang umaga. Kung saan man kayo naroon. So, yun. So, nice to be here today. Sir yeah. Jerry, we Hi, Sir Jerry. <laughs> Same. Medyo bago yung ano, kasi oh, hindi, hindi ako, hindi si Sir Jerry yung nakikita niya on screen. But it doesn't mean mm-hmm. that our discussions yes. will be any less. We have a very, very... We have a very special guest. Yes. This will be a very fruitful fruitful episode. Yes, especially mm-hmm. for those of you who are uh, starting out and who are very uh, curious about yes. how to get started mm-hmm. with your uh, marketing. Marketing. So, so without further ado, yes. let's uh, introduce our guest for today. She is the president and CEO of Felta Multimedia Incorporated. Uh, she's also a finalist of the 2009 Entrepreneur of the Year. Oh, de ba? So, yeah. ibang level, yeah. ibang level ano, <laughs> guest natin today. She's also a founding member of Ernst and Young Global. Um, it's the Women Advisory uh, Council. Council. And um, our favorite ko dito sa lahat is that. Uh, she's the champion yes, of, of the, the geeks. <laughs> Later we'll find yes. out why. Uh, she's also a Lego Robotics administ- uh, Distributor in the Philippines. So uh, later we'll find out how uh, you know she got 
got started with that. Um, most importantly, ito yung pinaka gusto ko. Parang ano, hindi hindi pa Miss Universe. Hindi siya pa Miss Universe. Miss, Miss World, Miss World naman, lang daw. But, <laughs> not uh, to, the, to the extreme, not to the extreme daw muna. Yes, ayun. Uh, it's a uh, the she yung ano, uh, she's the first ever world robot Olympian ambassador representing 63 countries. Oh, diba? Yes. Go Philippines. Ayun. So, and Filipina <laughs> women empowerment. Correct. <laughs> ayun. At dahil naka-red siya ngayon, let's yeah. all welcome <laughs> our guest. Miss Ma- Welcome, Miss Mylene. Welcome to the Premier Insights Call. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Donna. Thank, thank you, Ella. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Okay. So, before we, you know, let's get to know Miss Mylene Muna. Um, how did you start um, as an entrepreneur? Book? Well, I come from a family business. So, basically, it's not the uh, startup that I came from. And as you know, it's a 53-year-old company. So basically, we're talking about sustainability now since not that many companies can reach up to 50 years or more. And uh, I used to work in the United States for a uh, plastics uh, car manufacturing. And uh, I joined the family business in 1989 mm-hmm. and was elected and appointed as the president and CEO in the year 2000. Now, the challenge at the time is really family harmony mm-hmm. and professionalism yeah. because at the time when I joined the family corporation, it was being run like a mom and pop company. Oh, Parang sari sari store yeah. mentality. Uh-huh. Like one time my mom would just, anong feel niya? Yun ang magiging commission ng mga ahente. Uh-huh. Pero good mood siya, mas malaki. Oh, pag bad mood siya, less 5%. So, <laughs> so it eventually grew and um, it was a uphill battle because we had to use technology. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pre, averse pa sila nun yes, because they uh, and we had to professionalize okay. and document even our accounting procedures, mm-hmm. our marketing plans. And here we are today, 53 years, mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. yes, mm-hmm. we now manufacture our own school devices. We have our own national manufacturing plans, mm-hmm. and we are the premier and pioneer in Lego robotics in the Philippines. Yes, so you want to, uh, you started Celta Incorporated started 1966. 1966. Yes. Una, ano po yung una yung service or product? At the time when my parents first introduced uh, full color textbooks, 500 mm-hmm. pesos lang kapitan nila yeah. noon, wow, with one pesos. employee. <laughs> oh, oh, yung employee namin siya ng driver, messenger, mm-hmm. and nasa langit na siya ngayon because it's been a while. Mm-hmm. And um, from there. We also introduced the first audiovisual materials. I don't know oh. if you've heard of the full color slides, yes. Yes. film strips, transparencies. Then we eventually made the science equipment, mga science laboratory mm-hmm. equipment. Now we manufacture, until now, we manufacture furnitures and equipment for the science laboratories. That's one of our mga products. And then of course, our banner product is the Lego programs and the Lego robotics and the Lego early childhood products. Wow. Um, you mentioned you only had 500 pesos in pocket to start yes. with. No, only premier, 500 <laughs> lang. <laughs> so, what, I think what's the secret sauce? How you grew from you know, a one employee company yes. to what you are now? When I give lectures for the negotiation, especially for marketing and innovation, change is the only thing constant in business. Mm-hmm. Na, hindi natin pwedeng isipin, oh, maganda kung ako ngayon, right? Oh, maganda yung produkto ko. Always feel and always believe that there's always a competitor right after you mm-hmm. and everybody will innovate. Mm-hmm. And that's what you should be. You should be, you should be 10 steps ahead of your competitor. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, this is part of the Premier Masterclass, so mga hindi pa na yes. And uh, po kayo. Uh, yes. <laughs> One <laughs> of the things that Sir Jerry thought was, there's always going to be somebody down the road who's yes. going to be cheaper than you are. Yes. Yes. So, palagaw, you have to be, you know, anticipating yes. every, every You always day. have to be 10 steps ahead of mm-hmm. everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, you mentioned, Kanina, that you always have to innovate. Mm-hmm. I think that's the core of your business, eh, kasi you're in technology. Mm-hmm. So, um, para how do you spot opportunities you know, for, for innovations? Well, first of all, tandali natin yung gaya-gaya ng tayo. Yes. Napaka-Pilipino yes. yan. Yung pet, oh, merong may nakita magandang negosyo, tapos sasabihin, ay, gusto ko rin magtalo yes. yan. Uh-huh. I always believe you should have a competitive edge. No? Mm-hmm. The competitive 
and should be hand-in-hand with innovation. You should make your product better than the rest when it be just a, a food item or even an apparel or as, I, as you said, technology. So you have to make sure that your product will offer something new, another benefit, for example. Or solve a problem. Yeah, mm-hmm. solve a problem or not just a problem but make life more comfortable mm-hmm. or uh, better for, for people to use it. And one of the reasons also why we have grown the way we have is sana yung mga entrepreneurs din pagka medyo na scale up namin yung kanila mga negosyo is to have a social responsibility. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like pa kami education. Naisip namin na when you build a community not the students, the educators, even the parents. You, sila saman yung sarili sa success. Kasi may nagagawa kay mabuti para sa bansa, para sa mga pamilya, and you build a future for the youth. So yun ang sana ano pa rin na isipin na may nakakabuti kayo nagagawa para sa bansa at sa komunidad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's a there's a there's an advocacy behind. Uh, it's important for businesses to also have an advocacy. Hindi lang naman you just have to push for doing business or just gain profit, we also have to look into the possibility of trying to help out others as well, yes, contribute, contributing to the society. Yes. Right. So, uh, having said that, um, how do you um, uh, get started with uh, with innovation? Like, mm-hmm. are, do you have any tips for our yes. uh, viewers today on how they could um, um, you know, come up with new ideas on how to make better products yes. or improve their services. Yes. For the entrepreneurs that are listening, continuing education is yes. important for us entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. We should not say, ah, alam ko na lahat. Sometimes, mm-hmm. may ma- alam ko na mga paano gumawa ng say, produkto ko, ingredients ko, and that is usually the killer in mm-hmm. entrepreneurs. The moment you say, I know everything, mm-hmm. that's the time that you, it's the start of your downfall. So always go to seminars, always go to exhibits, if you go to um, exhibition shows, and most importantly is to read. Digital reading and even take book reading, publishing of everything. Also personality development. Yes. 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 And also a learned training. Yes. Yes. Alert, do you have um, tips bo, on how to come up with ideas mm-hmm. for innovation? Well, let's start from the basic. You should have what we call the unique selling proposition, yes. USP. Yes. And um, one important thing is to build your brand. Mm-hmm. Even people, tayo as an entrepreneur, we are a brand. The way you look, the way you present yourself, yes. you are a brand. Second is your image. Image means how you present your company from the simple business cards, mm-hmm. from the simple handshake, as I say. Yes. Because, because for me, it's your first um, contact with yes. your mm-hmm. client. Why do you a handshake? Let's, uh, so let's demonstrate. Let's <laughs> demonstrate. Good okay. Though. Right. The first thing is not too hard, not, not too firm. Saka yung misa min, yung parang, <laughs> parang babaliin yung kamay mo. So it's the firm. And then mga three shakes lang like that. Yes. The most important skill is to look at the person in the eye. eye. I'm sure you've Yes. You've had a handshake or you've had a handshake with someone na nakatingin sa paa. Oh, yes. Saka yung, yung kamay malamya, lamya. Yung ma- pag, pagka medyo malamig-lamig, ninenervous yung tao na yon. So, medyo mag-isip-isip din tayo because body language is also important. Yes. no? Mamay, ukutangan ka, tapos hindi ka nababayaran. <laughs> yung mga ganun pa mga style, di ba? Tapos hindi makatingin sa, oh, sa mata. No, oh, anak ba ka? Ukutangan ka, tapos hindi ka rin babayaran. No? So, alam mo so, na pala. Alam mo na. So, yun ang first contact. Another thing you know, as a data than image is yung pricing strategies natin. Price, mm-hmm. So hindi pwedeng sasabihin natin, ah mas mababa ako sa competition. Mm-hmm. So pricing is not the be all and the end all. Mm-hmm. Pricing should be studied. There's actually an art in in science in pricing. So it depends on your product, it depends on the market you want to to tap and um pati timing then. May timing there's a science to that. Accountancy na yan. Kung yeah. Accounting na yan. And cost pro. Ibang, cost ibang, 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 ano yan. Ibang, sige. Guess you na lang na is sa ibang ano. Sa ibang, ibang episodes na lang siya. And um, meron din syempre yung tinatawag natin yung strategies, no? So, mm-hmm. meron tayong reputation. Pati yung reputation natin, importante, whether it's personal or professional. Because people look at you as an entrepreneur na on a holistic point of view. Especially now, 
when social media is yes. very, re- re- you know, it's relevant. So we have to be very careful of what we put out there. Yes. Yeah. Grammar. Yeah. Your your choice of um, photos and fonts and fonts. Yeah. And daming considerations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Emma Kathy has a question. Yes. So, is it important that we have our own house brand? You can have your own house brand. That means you you have your own name, your mm-hmm. because that is you. You can also piggyback with an existing brand. If, for example, you're like Lego. A, yeah, Lego. Mm-hmm. If you're a distributor or you're into direct sales, like you want to sell Avon or you want to do Mary Kay or whatever. But if you're a negotiante and you want to build your own product line, you have to have your own house brand or your own personal mm-hmm. brand. For businesses, but like for startups, normally it it's built because of passion. It's mm-hmm. built because of yun yung hobby niya. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's that kind of ano, um, root cause of your business, how should one actually market it? Because mm-hmm. you, you can market to yourself. You can yes easily market your passion to others. First, okay, you have to have a logo tagline at least of what your business is all about and then it's now very easy to set up the business through the SEC and DTI mm-hmm. they now are very friendly with SMEs with the startups my one stop shop yes <laughs> oh meron silang fast lane for mm-hmm. for single proprietorship so start with that because hindi natin pwedeng i-brand kunyari uh, we have to professionalize mm-hmm. it so hindi pwedeng ay gusto kong gumawa ng say mugs or mga giveaways. But pag tinawag ka, ano tawag sa iyo? Yes, yes. <laughs> Alam manufacturer ako ng mugs and giveaways, ganun. So you have to have a name so people can recall and then point of contact. So sa kamahanap, mm-hmm. you don't even have to have a physical office. You can even just have a, a, a Facebook account mm-hmm. or a mobile phone and the, the, any way that the, the, that they can they contact, can contact you. you, yes. So it's sobrang low cost na yan. Uh-huh. You don't even have to have a physical yes. office yeah. or you know your own. Bahay ka lang. Oh, oh. so bahay ka lang. As long as you have a good website, you know, and maybe a Facebook page. Yeah. Instagram is really it's good now mm-hmm. for for marketing. Yeah. Ayo. So dapat clear lang yung logo. You okay. have your your tagline, and you basically need to identify who you are and what you are mm-hmm. selling, yes. so that you could mm-hmm. uh, convey your message. Mm-hmm. Your, uh, Another question by Angels Angels. What are those steps in building your personal brand on social media? Mm-hmm. Personal brand. Well, we all have our Facebook accounts, our yes. Instagram yes. accounts. Yeah, those are basic. So, what you put in your personal account is what brand you want to portray. Now, you also should have a professional account. Uh-huh. So, that was separate. Yeah, yeah separate. separate. Because what you put in your personal account are personal yes. <laughs> yeah. stories, yes, so personal content. And For family and friends. Yes. Uh-oh. I actually have mentored some of the entrepreneurs that they make that mistake. Hinahalo nila. Oh. Kunyari, they have this new design. Hinahalo nila sa personal page mm-hmm. nila. I said, that can't be because you are mixing your personal and professional life. And that is not going to be able to succeed and uh, scale. So you have to have libre naman eh, to set up an account. So you should have your public uh, figure. Uh, or, uh, yeah, <laughs> talent. Yeah. So you should have your own. Ayon. Hope that answers your question, Angels. Yes. Yes. Ayon. And then, okay. ayon, just ano, continue asking us yes. questions kasi bihira lang to. Oh, <laughs> bihira lang. And if you uh, do ask a question, you will get the chance to win a Lipriner book. Ito po yun. Lipriner book authored by Mr. Jerry E. Lau. Mm-hmm. Do it. And then, um, we have a okay. So, from we discussed ideas, we discussed um, branding. Now, for SMEs, though, there are so many marketing trends, mm-hmm. marketing platforms they can use. What is the yung low cost and um, yung easy for them to use? Because there are business uh, owners na they don't put much focus on the marketing side of the business. And um, ang, it's easy for word of mouth, it's the traditional way of doing marketing. So like on, on the current 
generation. Hmm. Well, for our entrepreneurs listening, I always mentor and say marketing plan should be one of your essential guide. Para yung driving eh. How can you go to the, your destination if you don't have a roadmap or you don't know where to go? So, marketing plan is essential. Anong nasa lagay sa marketing plan? Yung produkto, syempre, or service. And then, what are the strategies and including the digital platform, whether it's traditional, whether it's brochures or telemarketing or, or face-to-face. But, what I emphasize is that you should make one, a marketing plan, na pati yung benefits, pati yung tinatawag natin, di ba merong um, uh, tawag natin benefits and yung mga features and room for improvement for your product. So, pag inaral mo yan, then you will know how to proceed. And the marketing plan for me is really very essential. Your strategy is there. Kasama na rin yung how you're going to innovate mm-hmm. and proceed in the next, uh, say, two or three years or five years plan. Okay. Ayun. And so, kasama siya sa business plan ba? It's mm-hmm. not just, you know, the, the, the financials. Mm-hmm. You know, it kailangan kasama rin yung, yung marketing. Like, how you're going to mm-hmm. sell your like products. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, I like this question. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Isahin na natin. Yeah. From Miss Gladys yeah. Masalo. Ayun, false marketing claims are very common in our country, like for example, whitening products, mm-hmm. leaking juices, etc. Is it legal po ba in our country and up to what extent lang po dapat ang marketing claim ng ating products? Yes. That's a great question. That's a great yes. question. I like the question, Gladys. Uh, uh, well, marketing can be truthful and can not be truthful. And a lot of entrepreneurs, unfortunately, use, I would say, uh, false claims that can, you, you, you you'll be whiter or... Uh, in 72 in, in, hours. Yeah, 72 <laughs> hours. Slimmer. Glowing in, skin. In 10 days Uh-oh. or 7 days. And that's why there is what we call a um, department in the Department of Trade and Industry about uh, consumer uh, relations and consumer... Um, they call it... The department is about protecting the rights of the consumer. Well, as a consumer, nasa sa atin din naman kung maniniwala tayo o hindi. That's why we have to be very vigilant on what are the claims are. And always read the labels. Yes. Sinasabi dyan kung ano yung ingredients. Minsan, madadala tayo sa packaging kasi maganda yes. packaging. Lalo na tayong kababaihan. Uh-huh. There's really a yeah. study that we look at the packaging before we Pag-cute. even read the content. <laughs> Pag-cute, <laughs> bili. Bili, oo. So, uh, there is really no law uh, I would say that is still, but there is a consumer protection mm-hmm. department in the DTI. Yeah. Okay. So, yung law, law natin is pretty much on the prerogative of the consumer to purchase what can be false or can be true products, claims. So, okay. due diligence. Yeah, yeah. due diligence. Oh, okay. In the US, they have BBB, better, better Business Bureau. So, you can report. Yes. Ayo, and Maybe in the future here. Why not? Consumer protection. <laughs> Speaking of the false marketing, but what are the other mistakes of business owners in terms of marketing? Yeah. Pitfalls. Mm-hmm. Well, the pitfalls is, um, I would say, more on the financial side. Mm-hmm. Not spending too much on marketing. <laughs> no, no, not, not that. Actually, on the financial. Huwag niyong itataya ang mga bahay niyo. Ah, oo. Oh, oh, diba? I- in- mga kalabaw. No, hindi ka nga kalabaw. Ang kotse, ang bahay. Para magkaroon ng puhunan. Sinasabi ko sa inyo sa mga, marami nawawala ng bahay. Lalo na sa probinsya. Sinasabi ko, huwag niyong gagamitin collateral yung mga bahay niyo. Because hindi natin mapasure kung papatok yung mga negosyo niyo or not. Yeah, so what you do is, there are now banks. For example, yung mga government banks like land bank. DDP, meron silang mga loans na non-collateralized or pwedeng on against receivables. Yung meron kang PO, okay, okay. binavalidate naman nila yan eh. Meron siyang PO, tapos pwede mo iutang yun sa banko. So they can finance To a certain yes. extent. And another repercussions, mag yun mautangin buong 100%, <laughs> tapos bibili ng bagong kotse uh-huh. or bibili naman ng kung ano-anong bagay. Yeah. Dapat, you have to be also uh, conservative dun sa kailangan nyo ng pangkuhunan para sa negosyo. Dahil, I always tell the negosyante, pag nasira na ang pangalan nyo sa mga banko, yes. 
wala na magpapakutang sa inyo. So, dapat inatan nyo ang pangalan nyo, ang, ang credibility nyo, ang integrity nyo. Which is part of personal branding. Yes. Oh, okay. And reputation. Oh. And reputation. Babalik tayo dyan. Mm-hmm. Kasi so, it takes years to build a good reputation and a few so, seconds to, to know, destroy it. Destroy. Yes. Oh, oh, it's good. I like that. Oh. Kasi you have to know where the money is going so you can measure if effective your investment or not. So that's very good. Thank you. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> so speaking of businesses, uh, a lot of us, when we open our own businesses, excited kami. Parang wow, mm-hmm. parang ano, ito na, meron na akong si, you know, mm-hmm. mga bibi. I permit and all that. So, um, what, what, once you open the door and you know no clients come in, <laughs> parang, what do you do now? <laughs> parang, how do you get the word out there? Parang, how do you depend on traditional marketing? Or? Well, okay, let me cite an example. Mm-hmm. I'm mentoring a nephew without any consent from the parents. He opens up a cafe in front of a school. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, do you know, Iho, that 10 months lang ang school. Diba? 10 Ay, months yeah. lang. May 2 oh. months na vacation. Second is that, ang dami-dami na dito on the same street. Saturated. Hindi siya mm-hmm. competitive analysis. Sabi ko, lahat na dito nagbebenta kung anong binibenta mo. Yung, kung anong, so, nagaya-gaya. Ano? Nagaya-gaya mentality. <laughs> pero nandun na. Okay, so nandun na. Sabi ko, you know, it's like resurrecting the dead. Because, <laughs> because really, I said, your, your parents' retirement money yes. is he there. So, sabi ko like this, with all the traffic and all the congestion in the world, in the in the in Manila, is you have to bring the product out. So, okay. that means mm-hmm. ikaw na yung pupunta sa clients. Mm-hmm. Like, um, even if I, I do an IK Cafe in Manila, I don't rely on food traffic to come into my restaurant. Ngayon, nang ginawa ko, sabi ko, yung chef mo, walang ginagawa. Gumawa ka ng roasted, uh, yung beef na you can cater to family, yes. Mm-hmm. Ilabas mo, mag- mag-pwede kang mag-catering outside. The delivery, oh, delivery. The delivery mag-food delivery. People don't want to go out. The heat, yes. the yeah. rain, the traffic. The hassle. Oh, oh, yeah. Kamag magluto. Yes. Pa-deliver. Mm-hmm. So, not only that, is to ma- maximize the time of your your chef. So, you can now offer platters, mm-hmm. barkada meals, you know, and then you can deliver or the, you can have them come in as a barkada or as a family. Simple innovation. Simple. Oh, simple. 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 It's very simple. Hindi siya ganun pagastos. And it's actually common sense. And, and it's working. And it's working right now. Sabi niya, Tita, nag, nag double, almost double yung kanilang ano. Sabi ko, all you have to do is just, uh, and then yung word of mouth. I said, a happy customer will will always have word of mouth. Yes. You know? And, and, they will come back, but an unhappy customer yes. you know, also seven times four. <laughs> so <laughs> make sure your sila. customers are happy. True. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's, a, it's also an observation on the current attitude of mga tao. Na usang delivery system, everyone wants everything delivered. Mm-hmm. So it, it's a good innovation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Logistics, especially yeah. now in the age of social media yeah, and yeah. all. Mobile technology. Book, so, book lang. Lang. <laughs> tip of your finger. Lang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Na, ano, Ayun, so, who else? Hi, Miss Jo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just keep your questions coming. Yes. And uh, we have um, a few more. Um, Singit ko lang. Uh, by the way, Ulerin will be having um, trainings this week. Um, tomorrow, we will be having Mr. Miguel De La Rosa. Sir Mix will be having his second <laughs> A second round of food and restaurant marketing. That's tomorrow, and then um, on the eighth, uh, that's uh, how successful family business training with uh, the owners of Ferinos. Yes, Bibi, I, yes. I love it. And then on <laughs> May nine and ten, um, how to expand your business globally with the Philippine Guru for franchising, Mister. Boots Bartolome and Ma'am Linda Bartolome. So if you guys are interested dun sa trainings namin for this week, um, please visit www.olearn.ph. Yun. Okay. So going back. So going back. I, I like the, uh, the, 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 the flow of the conversation because we started with the family business yes. and how you innovated from you know having just one employee to, mm. to what you are now. Uh, can you tell us uh, something more about you know your what you do right now? Because 
Karina, we mentioned that yes. you are the, the champion of the key. Yes, so could you yes. tell us something about that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we might not have enough time. But uh, <laughs> well, my passion really is to promote science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM. Mm-hmm. That, eh, that was 1999 when I first introduced robotics in the Philippines. The teachers, all, all eight brave teachers at that time, said, Ma'am, alam ko yan, robotics. <laughs> Di ba yan yung Voltes 5 sa akin? <laughs> sa akin transformer? Sabi ko, nako, kung ganito lang ang level, alam ng teacher, oh my God, sabi ko, ano kang gagawin ko? Anong future, ano future, future kaya ng Pilipinas? But maganda naman, kasi at least alam ko yes. kung paano ko sila i-didirect. You know where they are. Yeah, so you ito, directing them na, alright, it's more than just a movie, mm-hmm. and we can now use robotics as another instructional medium for physics, for example, general science. So, let's enjoy yung mga bata. So, from there, uh, we have been bringing the Philippine Robotics National Team to different countries, like we just came back from the United yes. States. Everyone a champion yes. award. Yeah, yes. Congratulations. Yes. 74 countries participated. And imagine the team was into orbit. So, it's space. space. I don't alam ng Filipinas sa space. <laughs> but, but, the, the the students from Dr. Yangos Colleges, the uh, winner of that um, event, made a robot that meets the social emotional needs of an astronaut. Mm-hmm. So they made a robot. Now you can play a game mm-hmm. from Earth, and then it can be um, played with their astronaut mm-hmm. family member oh, from space. Yeah, yeah, and then nice. another good news is from your from your uh, screen is that mm-hmm. De La Salle Santiago Zubel okay. also won. For the junior category, these are age six to nine year olds. Oh, they won the Discover and Explore Award. Forty three countries naman ang ano ang inanda nila kung with. So I'm just saying that uh, I'm for I'm showing the world that the Filipino children are brilliant and they are also very articulate. They can communicate. They're creative. And pag nakita sila, they really have fun. Because I see other children from other countries, they're so so engrossed in winning. That so that's cool. the only thing. Yeah, so they're focused on winning, but they're not having fun. Yeah. yeah, and they're not learning. So with our Filipino children, I've seen all through the years since 1999, since I've already had so many. Some are already married. Come to think of it, they have really grown into, I would say, a holistic. Um, They've gone through a holistic journey with STEM. So they're not just smart in science and technology, but they can communicate and they can create products and invent products. In fact, one of the uh, products of our program is data scientists. Mm -hmm. You never heard of that. But with the analytics going on, they're good in programming, they're good in in, uh, probabilities, they're good in engineering. So all all that in one person. we are now promoting jobs that have not been thought of yeah. 10 years ten ago. Years ago. Yeah. So, ganyan lang ano, evolution from where you are 53 years ago with one employee. Now they are contributing to our society. They're um, leaving a legacy yes. in yes. education. So, ganyan din yung ano, possible. And advocating thing. something that not everyone does. Mm-hmm. And data science is actually, I realized that. Um, because of a friend, data science is a thing. It's mm-hmm. a lot it's in demand mm-hmm. It's not known by everyone kasi hindi siya napapag-usapan. Mm-hmm. But data science is somewhat the future. Yes. Well, in fact, we're going to be hosting a free, free uh, summit. It's called mm-hmm. the School Technology International Summit at the Miriam International uh, in- Innovation Center this coming June 20th. Nice. Maybe we can put that later. Yes, inside. yes. And, um, we will be talking about artificial intelligence, mm-hmm. big data, yeah, big know. data, mm-hmm. you know, even every time It's we, so Silicon Valley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big data, and we'll talk about, of course, robotics mm-hmm. and how it will shape our future. Yeah, that's, that's very exciting, especially for a uh, labor who are thinking of putting up a school, you know, kind yes. of small pa lang sa daycare, sa bahay. Mm-hmm. So you can incorporate robotics na in your curriculum. Especially mga nag-homeschool ngayon. They mm-hmm. Mga nag-homeschool oh. So this is a great... Um, addition to your program. Ayon. And you have another business which is, you mentioned po kanina, I Create Cafe. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. It also promotes STEM yes. as well. Yes. 
Yes. So, can you talk about it? Yes, uh, I create Cafe Manila. I conceptualized this about three years ago because we wanted to bring the robotics program, mm -hmm. robotics, also the um, animation, well, now we have Thank Minecraft yes. for education, to the public because some, not, not everyone can have it in their schools. Okay. So they just pay a certain fee, which is 250 pesos, yes. and uh, they can now learn. I'm also trying to get the children out of the gaming world mm -hmm. and making them socialize with other children and with their parents. So this so is it's a, not a regular cafe with yeah. the coffee. And but we do have Lego yes. themed coffee mm -hmm. and also pastry. So that's why it's called, it's mm -hmm. a cafe where you have snacks mm -hmm. and it's a cafe because you only pay on a per hour basis. So that's the reason why we call it a cafe. Innovation. Not a learning center. Oh, innovation <laughs> is <laughs> Ibang branding na. Oh, okay. yeah. So it's at the fourth, fourth floor of the Fisher Mall at uh, Quezon Avenue. Quezon Avenue. Yes. Ayan. Yeah. We're going to post that later. <laughs> yes. So, yun. so um, I think what you have right now is considered like a dish, um, you know, a business. So how do you get the word out there? You know, that so for our entrepreneurs out there who have niche businesses, yes. how can they mm -hmm. uh, get the word out there that they exist? Well, social media is free. Mm -hmm. Most of it is free. So you can post your products and your promotions mm -hmm. and always have call to action. Ang um, balik kasi rin ng mga entrepreneurs, oh okay, this is my product, what next? You have to put there a promo, like the book, for example. That's a call to action. Okay, you ask me a good question, I will give you a book. You give me your data, like, like your information, your, yeah, your mobile address, and then you get something. So that is important because then you will be able to measure how successful your promotion is in social media as well. Parang lead generation. Yes, and then ang important is conversion to sales. Kasi hindi natin mamimeasure yan kung paano successful yung ating yung promotions unless it's generating sales for us, right? Sometimes so, pag may ano na, nagsimili na ng bayad, wala nang <laughs> wala nang uh, nagbibigyan na yung information. So I guess that's a good measure if they really want your service or product. Yes. May, may and then keep a loyalty program. Because a loyalty program is what sustained us for all these years. So that means we were able to generate the sale not just once, but per mga suki yan. Everything, every time we have a new technology to offer, the schools will say, okay, what, what else is new? So they always clamor up with it. And that's the kind of business you want. You have a community or a following of, of uh, clients. So call to action call to and then loyalty program. Yes. Yung loyalty program ko, when should you offer that? Should, uh, ilang months ko? From, Pag marami from ka ng clients. Yun. Kasi naman maglagay ng loyalty program kung wala ka bang clients. Kaya pag marami ka ng established na. Established na. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a good thing. A lot of our entrepreneurs don't know how to get started with making yeah. mistakes. Kasi a lot of them think that you know it's expensive to Namin during the break, um, continuous learning. So there are DIYs. People tend to rely on the internet on um, everything. Learning, on everything, actually. <laughs> like right now, people tend to rely on the internet on everything. Especially YouTube, if they want yes. to uh, learn how to uh, <laughs> to, to code, <laughs> um, uh, other innovations mm -hmm. as well, like technology, para mag repair, mm -hmm. which is dangerous. Uh -oh. So for you, Miss Mayi. Um, ano, ano ba dapat ang um, prioritize? Is it the free learning or the paid learning or both should be considered? Well, I believe in blended learning. We can only learn so much in the digital platform. Kasi para tayong sponge, you just absorb yes. the information. But you don't really know if what you're absorbing is right mm -hmm. or it's, if it's enough. So if you have face-to-face -face learning or you go to like O-Learn, then it's validated if your learning is enough, and then you can have an assessment also. Assessment means tina test if 
what you're learning is enough for you to succeed in whatever venture you're planning to take up. And also to network. Yeah, and aside from that, you can meet mentors yeah. <laughs> who, who have been there. Because yeah. the yung, ano, yung wisdom for, from people yes. who yes. yeah. experienced that. Na, so. Yeah, because it's important to always have someone to talk to about it. A mentor, a go-to person. Lalo na pagbago ka pa sa business. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. they, they've done all the Well, we've got really, kami ang martial law. Hindi okay. lang umabot ang martial law. Nabot ako lang ang last three. <laughs> mga importation ban, mga yeah. ganyan. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mga business yeah. and problems. So, Ms. Maylene, what are your, um, what are the essential tips for marketing? Alright. For... So, ulit tayo doon, alright. Mm-hmm. So, uh, for marketing, as I said, make a marketing plan. And, With that marketing plan, you should encompass your competitive analysis, competitor analysis. And then from there, nandun na rin yung pricing strategies. And then from also there is competitive edge. You, you have to look into yourself what is good or beneficial in your product that will make you different from the rest. So yung sinatawag natin, unique selling proposition. And then you also have to tap into the um, SWOT analysis, so your strengths, you know, weaknesses, your threats, and that one you have to look at after you've already ventured into your your business and it started already. Okay. We have a question here. Do you think that SWOT analysis is the best marketing assessment method? Yes. Uh, looking into your strengths and weaknesses, for example, For, for those who don't want such a complicated process, is you just, I call it a Peter Paul, Peter Paul assessment, plus or minus. So, si Peter yung plus, minus si Paul. So, titignan mo lang, madali lang to sa bad paper or sa yellow pad, ano yung plus ko? Ito yung, oh, my price, I'm, I'm competitive in pricing, packaging, blah, blah, blah. Ano yung negative ko? Needs for improvement. Yun, yun lang. Just look at that because, I always tell the entrepreneurs, uh, you always have to look back eh, on, on your original product before you can also proceed. So, yun lang importante sa atin is yung continuous innovation. In Japanese, meron tayong friends, yung Kaizen, Kaizen. you know, the Kaizen. Mm-hmm. Always, always keep on learning. Yeah. Ayan. So, greeting lang kay Ms. Gloria Bad, Bad Mon oh. from Bacoor. Uh, Sir Jerry Sir, said a very yes, important very thing. Important. So, <laughs> ayan. Hi, Sir Jerry. <laughs> Ayun, you're going yeah. back. Uh, I, I I like what you said about um, yung SWOT analysis because you you really have to know the ins and outs of your business before you know you can you know uh, move forward. Um, another thing, siguro, would be yung um uh, you you mentioned about pricing strategy as part of the uh, marketing plan. A lot of our entrepreneurs think na at uh, basta i-times to yung ano yung yes yung cost okay na or sometimes ano mag add lang sila ng certain markup and then it's fine so uh, what do you have any uh, para best practices uh, on, on pricing very short okay very short is that um, as I said pricing is not the end all and the be all that um, pag mura ka sa competitors yes. ikaw na yung panalo no it's not that there's a science and really a lot of pencil pushing that you have to do you have taxes to pay you have operational expenses to pay you have people to pay you know utilities and so on I would tell entrepreneurs ang bottom line should be at least 15% net of everything yung 15% yeah, so, sa, sa especially for our business the 15% is what you can use for expansion for your emergency savings for the company, no? Provide the loans. Yeah, provide the loans. Net of net, net of net. And then, you have to be able to know the maturity of your product. That's how you price your product. Medyo deep na to, no? Maturity. Maturity of your product means, kunyari, introductory price. Siyempre, you want to make it a little less. But remember, caution is that if you make it too, too, too low, it's going to be difficult for you to increase the the price. So, dapat, yung tama lang na the price. Very, very, it should be very similar or at least close to the competitors. 
na number two is yung life cycle nga ng product. Pag nag-peak na yung product mo, that's the time that you can now offer promos. Like, you can offer discounts, yeah, discounts. or premiums, uh, buy one, get one. premiums, especially for products that have a shelf life. So, pag food products, di ba? Pag alam mo nang kailangan, mabenta mo na to, that's the time that you can now promote it as 40% off or buy one, take one, something like So, it really depends on the, the product, the nature of the product or the business. And then, pag yung talagang, ano na, nag, nag, da, da, nag-decrease na yung, yung product, ano mo, life cycle, is that's the time that you can now rethink how to expand your product. So, meron tayong tinatawag na product expansion. You can use your product for another byproduct. For example, who would think na yung ginagamit nating baking soda, eh ngayon toothpaste na, sabon na, yeah. di ba? So, that's co- uh, part of the product expansion. Ang galing mo. Mm-hmm. So, talagang, ano, hindi pala siya talagang sigbinuhugot lang sa air, magkano yung ipapresyo mo sa product or service mo. Pinag-aaralan pa rin. Mm-hmm. So, I have another question here. Can the nature of very first exposure to the brand reflect in the further sharing and spreading of the message on our own? Medyo deep. Medyo deep. May hindi ano tanong. Very nature of sharing and spreading of the message. Alright, yeah. Tinatanong niya, okay. I think you want to bring out a brand, no? Mm-hmm. It remember, marketing also is all about impressions. Mm-hmm. Even patao, it only takes four seconds for you to have a first impression, impression. on me, oh, or bibilang bakita or hindi, uh-huh. iba? Okay, ba yung quality ng product? Uh-huh. It's the same when you launch a new product. You have to launch it na pinag-isipan. Anong pinag-isipan? Your graphics your illustrations, even the people that you want to put in your site, whether if it's a digital format or it's just a brochure. So, we have to make sure na pag maglo-launch ka, impressive. Lanchado. Lanchado lahat. Hindi lang just for the sake of, may bagong product ako, ganun. I hope I've answered the, the question. That's good. Ayan. So, from Jester Santiago, how to choose the right marketing strategy for different types of businesses. Parang masyadong general. <laughs> Medyo, oh. Masyadong general gesture. But um, my advice is really to study the product first. Mm-hmm. Hindi tayo pwede magbenta ng produkto na hindi natin alam, di ba? Hindi lang pwede post-post Oo, lang. Oo. Porque, ay, marunong ako magluto, maglatayo ah. ka ng, ng cup coffee shop. Hindi gano'n, or ka- cafe. It, you have to study your business very well. Because, yun ang, yun ang ano mo eh, yun ang lifeline mo. Mm-hmm. If you are not studious and enter a business, remember, merong pera involved yan. Yeah. Right? Buti kung mayaman naman si papa, si mama, <laughs> or yung asawa nyo, or mga kapamilya nyo. Kung may hindi yan, no. So yung ano nyan is, it will depend on the nature of the business that you want to enter. And then, eto lang sinasabi sa mga entrepreneur, when you set up a business, make sure that yung pera na ilalagay nyo, pwedeng mawala. Yung hindi kayo mawawala ng bahay, mawawala ng kotse, at masisira ang pamilya nyo. Ganun yun. It's something that you're ready to lose. Yeah, you can yes. lose. Lose or gain. Gain. Mm-hmm. It's a risk kasi. Mm-hmm. It's a gamble. But it has to be an educated risk. Yes. Kaya yeah. dapat pinag-aaralan lahat. Tapos dun naman sa mga entrepreneur na may existing job, huwag muna kayong aalis sa Yes. Sa ano yun? Yung iba, ay, meron ako negosyo. Negosyante na ako, biglang magre-resign. Oh my God, sasabihin ko, ano ka kainin ng pamilya niyo pag hindi mag-open yung business niyo? So, huwag na muna mag-re-resign. Palagawin muna yung negosyo. And then, if it's really mahinog na and it's mature mm-hmm. enough for you to have a sustainable financial source for your family and a revenue stream, that's the time that you can resign. Siguro, um, set a quota or parang a goal kung mm-hmm. Pag ito na yung income ko, saka na ako mag-resign. Kung feeling ko na talaga na... Na sustainable, ah. Sustain. Kasi pwedeng oh. maganda nga yung benta, pero hindi naman na sustain. Oh. Oh. Parang first month lang. Oh. Pag dating na third month, iba na oh. Actually, that information is on Sir Jerry's book. Sa Lipid. Yes. Mm. Like, ano, it's called the Freedom Limit and the Freedom Number. Ayan. So, congratulations yeah. pala dun sa mga oh, winners. winners. We will announce the their uh, the names namaya. So, that's yes. ayun na, si Jester. So, I oh. hope you were able to answer your question, Jester. 
And then in terms of marketing, because we already have the traditional and the modern, mm-hmm. uh, the digital marketing. Papa, um, how should one um, business owner rely on one certain marketing or pwedeng mm-hmm. i-blend na yung dalawa? We are in a disruptive world. Mm-hmm. Of this, it's, yeah, it's a disruptive world. People just don't just read anymore. Mm-hmm. Just, actually, that even the newspapers, people are always in their cars, so you have to have the audio, the radio. Mm-hmm. People don't watch TV anymore. Yeah. They Set go to Netflix. 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 They go to their phones. So, I would suggest that depending on the business, the nature of the business, is to have a blended approach to marketing. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang yung, yung traditional. Mm-hmm. You, you have to think of it like uh, we are into a world that people are busy, people are distracted, disruptive, you know. So, dapat yung approach natin is also the same. Yeah. And I think, uh, no, there are certain businesses that, kasi, like for example, um, consulting business, uh, mm-hmm. most of the uh, decision makers are baby boomers pa and Gen Xers and they prefer phone calls more than <laughs> certain, <laughs> more <laughs> than ano, social media. So it really depends on the kind of business, mm-hmm. the kind of products and services that you have. Mm-hmm. Hi, Sir Jerry. Hi, Sir Jerry. <laughs> 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 and not everyone is also mahilig na tingin-tingin ng social media. Not everyone is as techy mm-hmm. as the, the rest. So it would be nice to have them, and we can let the traditional marketing guide them as well. Yeah. And remember, we're Filipinos. Yeah. Filipinos yes. were very so, social creatures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. May time chismisa, yeah. chika So we we have to build on that. We we have to build on our culture, mm-hmm. depending on the product that we have. Mm-hmm. So blended marketing should be the case. And I always remember si Sir Boots would keep saying sa seminars you know, that the best. The marketing approach is word of, uh, word of mouth. So, so it, which stands for my loyal customer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ayan. So, oh my um, goodness. Okay, we're 56 now. <laughs> na okay. Before we end, <laughs> before we end, any advice for yes. entrepreneurs? Okay. For the entrepreneurs, you have to be fearless. Uh, not everybody is meant to be an entrepreneur, but if you are not fearless, you will not be able to handle the pressures and the challenges of owning your own business. So please look into yourself. I'm not discouraging anyone, but it take it doesn't uh, that everybody's meant to be an entrepreneur. So you have to look into yourself. If you think that uh, you have it, then go for it. And have a prayerful life because divine yes. providence and divine strength is really needed. Divine strength with action, of course. So, yun po ang aking uh, message for all the entrepreneurs out there. Good luck, you can do it, and help the Philippines to be more pros- prosperous because prosperity is for all. Yeah. Yes. Be fearless. <laughs> you, hindi mo malalaman kung hindi mo susubukan. True. And yeah. we have already winners for our entrepreneur book. Uh, congratulations to Amac Cathy. Andres Andres and, and Gladys, Gladys Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Ayan. So, um, you can email Haina, that's J-A-E-N-A at ecreneur.com on how to claim your book. Ayan. Yeah. So, yun. So, gusto ko rin yun, yung fearless and then Sir Jerry love the blended marketing yeah. you know, approach. But ako ang pinaka-takeaway ko for today is really innovation. It's really uh, starting uh, however small you are but not being stumped by that. You have to uh, able to build a better mousetrap, you know, mm-hmm. you have to be able to um, leave a legacy uh, so that, you know, your efforts uh, can make the lives of other people better. So thank, yeah, you, thank you so, you much, so much for that. Fun. Thank you for having thank me. You. It's a pleasure. Thank it's an honor. So, 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 um, next week, Paul, since it's election, we will not be having our broadcast. Um, vote wisely. Vote yes. wisely. <laughs> And, and ano, exercise your right to, yes. to vote. Ayan. Go registered voter vote. <laughs> ayan. Ay, ayan. So, again, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Miss Mayin. Thank you for giving us your precious time. We've learned a lot. Yes. And um, we'll see you on the next episode on our 100th episode. Yes, episode so, 100 on May 20th. On May 20th. Yes. So, we'll see.